Since FM24 has been out, we've made videos about some of the best Wonder Kids in the game, Wonder Kids that you can sign for under £1 million, and even my favourite Wonder Kid 11 of the game so far. But what we haven't done is what we're doing today. We are giving you a full squad of Wonder Kids, but looking for the cheapest player in every position. Now, this whole team of Wonder Kids I'm about to show you would come in at a combined total of under £2 million. That's how much of a bargain some of these players are. We've got a player from each position to make a full team so before we get started if you do enjoy this video if you do find it useful smash a like button for us it really does help support the channel subscribe if you haven't already we are doing daily football manager content at the minute and you don't want to miss it and comment down below your favorite cheap wonder kids so far with that being said let's get into player number one and of course, that has to be a goalkeeper. And we are going with Nigerian Nathaniel Nawusu, who was in the game last year as well on FM23 as a great bargain option. He is going to cost you a grand total of nothing from Water FC out of the Nigerian divisions. And he is a keeper that already has some nice ability. He's six foot five, but he's got lots of potential to get better yet. Can genuinely become a very good elite level goalkeeper with the right development. But of course, he's probably going to need you to sign him to allow him to really fulfill his potential. Now, just to put it out there, before we go any further in this list, if you don't see this player in your save, if you don't see some of the other players in your save, it's because your database is too small. When you start up your save file, you can choose how big your database is. The automatic large preset the game gives you is about 13,000, 15, 20,000 players. The full database of players in FM, though, is over 400,000. So there's a good chance some of these guys might not be in your save. But don't worry, we've got a big mix of players here, players from the Nigerian divisions like this, or even some that play for teams like Real Madrid so there's gonna be a player for everyone don't worry about that but this is Nawusu our goalkeeper but I just wanted to put that out there in case we get all the comments saying I can't find him in my save now you know why next we have a left back by the name of Elias who looks like a decent player off the bat he has potential but he's not necessarily amazing straight away but that is to be expected none of these guys are going to be the next Messi for the kind of prices that we are showing saying that though Elias might be the next Zidane and that isn't because he's a great young attacking midfielder he's actually a left back but the reason is his dad is none other than Zinedine Zidane the famous footballing icon now Elias doesn't necessarily have all the talent his dad had but he does have a potential potential to be a wonder kid in your save as does every player in this list so they're all definitely worth a scout if nothing else but you're able to pick him up for about 500 400k which I actually think is a bit excessive for the player you're seeing here because he doesn't have too much ability from the bat he's more about potential the reason Elias is in this list though is because if you wait until January you can pick him up for absolutely nothing because Real Madrid don't extend his contract he'll have six months left on his deal and you can approach to sign him and offer him a contract at your club or wait a full season he'll be released on the 30th of June 2024 and you can pick him up for absolutely nothing a young Frenchman with a lot of potential if you can turn Zidane's son into a special player in your save that will be a really cool storyline next to him at the back though we have 16 year old Hugo Barancina of Real Zaragoza able to be signed for about 250k or even less sometimes at about £100,000 this 6 foot 4 centre back is one of the less talented players in this list I think the defenders in general look nowhere near as good as the attackers and midfielders but he is the cheapest wonder kid in his position or at least one of with 15 jumping reach 14 natural balance 12 pace and 12 strength at six foot four his physicals are looking pretty good for only a 16 year old and they'll develop a hell of a lot over the next few years mentally he's got some decent talent but it's his technicals where he really falls down and he's going to need some growth and some training to get to a good level but you definitely can make that happen with this player because he can have wonder kid potential so check him out in Zaragoza and you might be able to pick up a gem of a player for super cheap at right back we have Real Madrid's Roy Roy Torres who follows a similar path to El Yaz, where he is quite cheap straight away but if you wait a season or wait even until January you can pick him up for absolutely free. Now as a right back he doesn't have too much going for him just yet but he does have good acceleration, agility and pace so he's got a nice set of physical attributes to start off with and he can tackle well and cross. Saying that though everything else is pretty weak and he will need a lot of work but that's going to be the case with mainly the defenders in this list. Like I say the attackers are a little bit better but he is a cheap wonder kid if you're looking for a bargain he could be a good one and our final Real Madrid player in this list is Ariel or Ariel I don't know how you pronounce it but he has a release clause of 350k but you could probably get him for cheaper than that the young centre back is 5 foot 10 so I'd argue maybe centre back wouldn't be his eventual calling left back might be a little bit better for him should you retrain him to play that position let's be honest though his attributes are not very good to start off with but he does have a lot of potential now the defenders are out of the way we can get on some more exciting and some players actually look a little bit better on screen our first one of 
them is Nigerian 16 year old Daniel Dagger. He can be bought from Inyimba International FC of ABBA, which is a team in Nigeria apparently with a very long name. Either way though, he is a brilliant player. Whilst his physicals are the weakest side of his game, he comes in with 14 tackling, 14 technique, 14 passing and 14 vision combined with great first touch and decision making. If his physicals get a bit better, which they will over the next few years, you could have a great deep line playmaker or a brilliant, I think potentially box to box midfielder. His dribbling is probably too weak to be able to do it in all honesty. So deep line playmaker maybe makes a little bit more sense, but he already has international cats for Nigeria's under 20s. He's got one goal for them as well. And for about 100,000 pounds, this is a bargain with some great attributes at the start already. Next to him, we have got the free transfer Zimbabwe and 17 year old Prince and Lovu of Highlanders FC. Another one like Nwusu, who was a brilliant player last year and he still is in game and he's able to be picked up for absolutely nothing. Once more, his physicals aren't looking great, but they will fill out over the next few years. Technically, he's got brilliant first touch and dribbling combined with nice technique and passing ability, good teamwork as well as decision making. He's got some great attributes to start off with. The dribbling and the first touch especially are of a very high level for such a young player. He does need development, but he is already starting in a good place and with the right kind of training and the right development program, by the time he's 2021, 20, you could be looking at a player that could have the potential to be a Premier League level talent with the right development. I'm not saying he always will be, but if you bring him to your team for absolutely nothing, give him some training, give him some game time, you could see someone really special within a few years. One of the most talented players in this list though is Raquel May Felipe, a 16 year old Brazilian playing for Palmeiras in the Brazilian divisions. Now he looks great straight away. 13 acceleration, great agility, balance and pace combined with natural fitness, finishing ability, first touch and dribbling ability, all at such a young age. Now his mentals are the weakest side of his game and in this save he's got low determination. That might be different in yours because because these attributes can vary a little bit, but as an inside forward coming in off the left, he could be a top talent. Now he does have a release clause, but that's only for domestic clubs, so other Brazilian sides by the looks of it. Palmeiras though will be willing to accept 300, 400,000 pounds or so. He's a real talent with a lot of potential and one of the most talented players out of everyone that we're showing here. He's got great ability to go far in your saves and for so cheap, he's definitely worth the investment. Next, we have another free agent, a number 10 by the name of Tommy Montefiore, another one that was in the game last year. He's playing for Juventude, a team out in the Brazilian divisions on loan from a different Brazilian side and can be picked up for absolutely nothing straight away. He's either footed with weak physicals but nice attributes in his technicals and some okay mental attributes as well. Again, another one that's going to need a lot of work but you're getting these players for absolutely nothing into your team. They're not going to cost you a penny, just the wages that you're going to have to pay to them which won't be too much because they are so young. But the Argentinian does have a great future ahead of him in your games if he can get the right kind of development so check him out he's one of the cheapest wonder kids we could find but the hunt continues with the last few players our second to last player is going to be called Alex he's a 17 year old Dominican Republic national who plays for Real Mercia a team in the lower divisions of Spain now he has 12 acceleration 11 pace finishing ability dribbling ability combine that with great determination free kick ability technique work rate I'm not saying he's going to play for any world class team straight away but in time he could eventually get to the point where he could be a Premier League level player but again Again, a lot of development needed and he'll be a completely different option by the time he's 2021. So check him out. A year left on his deal. Very cheap as well. £160,000 release clause. Should you happen to want him straight away. Another cheap gem to add to your shortlists. And finally, probably the best player on this list is Mexican 19 year old Emiliano Garcia. Now he is good because he's a little bit older than some of the others. So he's had the chance to have his attributes develop a bit. He's playing for Puebla FC in the Mexican divisions and has 11 finishing, 11 first touch, a decent range of attributes nothing too crazy just yet but he's got what I call a nice base set of attributes where he's got a good attribute in each area not exceptional but it's something you know 10s 11s something to build up from he's not awful at any particular aspect of the game but he's not too strong either but starting off like this he does have the potential to be a good striker one day and for such a cheap fee he'd definitely be worth giving a go to 30 40 000 pounds looks like it's enough here to attract him to your club in total you could get this team for a couple million pounds if not less so if you're a lower down team looking for some bargains these players could be good to you now he used to play for Villarreal so he has played for a pretty big side before or at least he was loaned there for a little bit from Mexico don't quite know what happened there but either way he's now currently at his Mexican club available for transfer 
so try and sign him. Hopefully, you have found some useful players from this list. I know none of them are exceptional straight away, but we're trying to show you the cheap, cheap players here. So if you are playing for a big team, maybe don't go for these players, but if you're a team in the third division of England, let's say, they could be some great pickups for you. Worst case, you sign them and you make a profit on them. Best case, you sign them and they become top level players. So check them out if you haven't. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.